Pisces, welcome to your May Tarot Forecast with me. My name is Brooke, and welcome to Nightbird Tarot. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And Pisces, it is my three-year anniversary here on YouTube. I debuted my tarot channel three years ago in May of 2014, and it absolutely changed my life. And if the ones that remember way back in the day, I started my channel off as Wednesday's Tarot <laughs> because I started it on a Wednesday and it was a new moon. And I'll have to look back at the calendar and see what day that was. Obviously, it was a Wednesday, but the actual date, I can't remember. So, yeah, I basically threw myself on YouTube. <laughs> And it absolutely changed my life. So happy anniversary. And I've met so many wonderful people uh, in the tarot community online. I've read for incredible people around the world, people in person that have found me, that have traveled to come see me. And it's absolutely changed my life. So I'm very, very grateful to YouTube for uh, having the opportunity to do this and to share my gift with you. So, happy anniversary, Nightbird Tarot! So, when I debuted Wednesday's Tarot, that lasted for like five months and then I changed my name uh, subsequently to Nightbird. So, here we are, Pisces. Now, you know I'm a Pisces too, so I'm very excited to read for you for the month of May and get back on track with uploading and debuting frequent videos. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell up top, ding dong, hit your little bell to get automatic updates and notifications on your smartphone so you know when I upload a new video. So let's begin Pisces. Uh, I'm doing a five card spread for the month of May. I'm using the Witches Tarot deck. And in your first card in the theme or the atmospheric element position, we see the card of death. And I'm going to bring this closer to the camera. Death is a major arcana card. This card in particular is very much about transformation for Pisces in the month of May. This is an inevitable change that may be happening in many of those that are in many of your lives. Uh, that are watching. This doesn't necessarily indicate actual physical death. So death is very symbolic in terms of transformation. This could even be ending or leaving something. This could even be beginnings of something. This is a spiritual transformation as well. This is a total transformative period for Pisces in the month of May which is very significant for Pisces. So what I'm gathering is the waiting period is over for many Pisces that are watching. This could be the ending or beginnings of relationships. This could be the ending or beginnings of a career or new job. This could be actual physical change or relocation of residence for many that are watching. So this card's very significant for Pisces in terms of transformation in the month of May. And it's very symbolic when you see the death card because it's inevitable change. It's necessary to take place in order for you to go to the next phase of your life. So something's definitely changing in Pisces' life this month that's going to bring about a lot of or more of balance, feelings of karmic balance, feelings of resurrection within yourself, getting back to yourselves, uh, getting back to your roots. This could also be living a more authentic lifestyle for many. So a definite transition period for Pisces. This could even be the solidification or the finality of divorce in the month of May. This could even indicate 
uh, starting new partnerships even. So this can run the gamut because it is a general reading. But this is an actual transformative period for Pisces, which is very, very important. And it's very necessary for your growth in a lot of ways. And anyway, transformation is imminent when you do see this card. I don't know if you can hear on camera, but there's little kittens that are in the room that I'm in, and they were just born two weeks ago, so I think they're a little upset. They're like, where's my mama? Anyway, magical kitties. So in your reading, Pisces, you do have two queens. We see the Queen of Pentacles ending with the Queen of Swords. And I'm going to speak about both queens here in a second. So there may possibly be two actual women that figure prominently in this month in terms of events. This also could be very applicable to yourselves, male or female, for Pisces as well. Beginning with the Queen of Pentacles, coming out of your most recent past, the Queen of Pentacles can be attributed to Earth sign females, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. She can also be one that is very practical, generous, very connected to the Earth, Mother Nature, outside. She's also very giving, very practical, but also very much in charge of stability in terms of finance or money. This is coming out of the most recent past. For Pisces, in terms of money or finance, perhaps many of you out of the most recent past are embarking upon regaining financial footing or stability when it comes to money or finance, or this could be an actual person that has helped you or played a pivotal role with money and finance coming out of the most recent past, so keep that in mind. The next card that we see is the Empress, which is in your present position. When I see the Empress, she's very much in terms of the mother and the major arcana suit. So the Empress is one who's very nurturing, very warm, creative. She's very focused upon the family, the home, and she's very nurturing and she's one that's very significant for women in terms of motherhood, okay? So for Pisces, the focus may be this month, whether you're male or female, in terms of parenting, children. If you're starting over with your child, the focus may be very much upon your children this month, doing what's necessary to move forward financially, regaining a sense of balance, and going through a transformative period, not alone, for Pisces in the month of May as well. This also can indicate uh, marriage or pregnancy, but however, I do not see that coming up specifically for Pisces in the month of May, but the Empress is a very good card for fertility. So the Empress is present. And it may very well be a marker of some kind for Pisces of getting back to the center of your being, whereas Pisces has, be, has been preoccupied with other concerns. It seems as if Pisces is kind of coming out of that, uh, coming out of this whirlwind of perhaps of events or preoccupations or work or being busy and getting back to yourselves and taking your time this month and really turning your focus towards your children's needs, your family's needs, but also spending time to be more creative or more nurturing, even something as simple as staying home with the kids uh, on this particular Sunday and baking homemade cookies. I mean, it could be anything as simple as that that's being validated to Pisces. Going forward in your challenge position, Pisces, we see the nine 
of Swords. The Nine of Swords in your challenge position, coupled with the other cards, is a great indicator of realizing that your worries, your fears, your anxieties, if you've had depression, sleepless nights, whatever it is that kind of pulls you away from being the empress in your life or being too focused on money or possessions. Something has caused Pisces some worry or anxiety. It's in your challenge position in terms of saying to you, the nightmare has ended. That part of your life is over. You're passing through it. The challenge is to overcome these anxieties, these uh, episodes of feeling out of control or nervous or is everything going to work out? And the message for Pisces is to be able to recognize those feelings and to own them, to not uh, perhaps subdue them or pacify them through escapism or distractions or I'm going to do this and just not even think about it over here or I'm going to focus on this and not think about it. Quit stuffing your feelings down um, because something's very much causing Pisces at times to be triggered by these anxious thoughts or by these anxieties of some sort. And this could even be helpful for Pisces if you like to journal. I love to write things down sometimes to just get it out, talking to a friend. Um, I'm always an advocate for therapy. Uh, I also recommend any kind of alternative therapies such as Reiki, acupuncture, even chiropractic care can be very useful for your nerves. So everything's very much connected, Pisces. The message is, this is in your challenge. This doesn't mean it's going to come to fruition. The challenge for you is to kind of tackle those things head on, to not pacify them, and to move forward because with the card of death is a great symbolism of transformation. Transformation that's needed. So in the outcome position, we see the Queen of Swords. This Queen is very different from the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords is an indicator of an actual person that may play out in events for the month of May. She's also one who's considered going it alone or being solitary. But the Queen of Swords in particular, Pisces, is one who does not mince words. She can be very quick-witted. She can be sharp-tongued. She can have elements of being critical. But she's useful, just like her counterpart, the King of Swords. The Queen of Swords is useful, okay? She says what she means. Her word is law. She makes good decisions as well. You may have to incorporate this, Pisces, in terms of your transformation this month to rather, instead of going with the flow in terms of emotion, to really think about what is necessary instead of how you feel about a situation to really think logically about it as well. I did draw a clarification card to this queen and receive the high priestess for you, Pisces. The high priestess is a validator to you to really trust your feelings this month, but really think about the consequences or the outcome as well. But trust your gut instincts. Many of you may have prophetic dreams or psychic insights this month as well. Trusting your intuition is very important for Pisces. When the high priestess shows up, listening to your inner voice, reflecting upon things, meditation is useful, trusting your feelings, but also being very smart in terms of this actual transformation period for many Pisces that are watching of using your head and your heart, but most importantly, trusting your intuition because that's your inner compass to vibes that people put out, feelings, 
and it's very useful and Pisces is well known as being one of the most intuitive signs in the zodiac so good luck to you Pisces have a great month of May if you'd like to book a private reading with me check out my website in the link below so take care Pisces and I'll speak to you soon